June is National Indigenous History Month, and this week we're featuring con- conversations with Indigenous community members passionate about the field of science, technology, engineering, and math, often referred to as STEM. Indigenous STEAM is a nonprofit organization that connects Indigenous youth with STEM and arts programming. Logan Arcilla is the group's project manager for tech and robotics, and he joins us this morning. Good morning, Logan. Good morning. And you have brought... <clears throat> A robot. I brought two robots. Two yes. robots. Yes. Okay. We'll get to those. Now, how did you get involved in robotics? Kind of a long story, but to shorten it, I, uh, <laughs> I transferred from doing sports and medicine because I like sports med. Oh. And I went from uh, doing that because I was like, I didn't really want to do this. So I was like, I don't, this is fun, but it's not fun. So essentially, my mother, Phoebe, she was like, hey, try robotics. You might like this. It might be a career for you. And oh. I was like... I was like, well, what do you do? And she's like, everything. I was, and I didn't know what that meant. How did your mom like, know? Or she she's, just had this she's idea just always, about she's it. She's a teacher. She's a tech teacher. She's uh-huh. always just had this idea like, I'll cool. just do this. And I was like, okay, well, I'll do it too. And <laughs> eight years later, here I am running Indigenous Teams and Northern Operations in Edmonton. And throughout, every, throughout uh, Alberta, we do a camp, tech camp in Calgary at uh, the University of Calgary every year. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're trying to expand uh, our reaches up in Edmonton here. Now, it, Indigenous team, because STEM with arts, why yeah. why the combination of that? Because arts is technically technically under tech and, and STEAM. We we like having it because you're just, oh, I should know this. Is part, of, is part of it creativity? Yes, I, it's I more say. the creativity aspect yeah. of that type of thing. Because a lot of people, you know, they, they don't think yeah. about creativity with science. They think yeah. it's all this, that, you know, down one pathway. But really, you're exploring all kinds of different yeah, things, essentially, right? yes. All right, let's talk about the robots. Sweet. What did you bring with us, you this morning? I brought us this lovely Lego robot. This is called a Spike Prime robot. A Lego yeah. robot. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's, it's a small little thing you can hold in your hands. Yeah, it's pretty much autonomously used. We love it for that reason. So it's like, here, try to code this to go through a maze. Here, try to code this to go through our, our challenges. Or here, try to take on the first Lego League level, which is straight autonomous, scoring points, and uh, to try to score as much as you can. So kids program yeah. uh, the robot to do things? Yes, they do. And, and how, I mean, how did they go through that? What, what happens? What, they're doing that on a computer somewhere? Yeah, and then it... they're doing it just on a computer in like either Python or Block Scratch, which is what we call it. So they just drag and drop, and all the movements are calibrated, and everything works super and well. And those are computer codes? Yeah, computer Python. codes, yes. Because okay. I'm, you know, I'm not that literate when it comes to computers. Um, so this, this whole effort for you with Indigenous Steam, yeah. how has that gone? Well, it's essentially created my career and my love for, pa- for STEM and my yeah. passion for teaching. I love, I don't know what it is. Uh, no, I do know what it is. Three <laughs> generations of teachers, my mom, <laughs> my grandpa, and now me. Yeah. And I'm almost, I need to just go through school and do that. That's essentially what it is. But I do love the, the aspect of providing opportunities, and that's what it, it that's essentially what it does. Yeah. It's like, here, we had this, like, science and tech thing that just went on for, like, under the radar for years. And it's like, there's another opportunity for us to do on top of sports or, like, anything else that they want to do. Right. So that's essentially what I, what I love doing is just providing newer opportunities to go and take a look and be like, oh, what? I can turn this engineering thing into a job and I can get paid to be creative? Essentially is what it is. I mean, and not every Indigenous kid is going to have a mom like you had or a grandma, like this, this yeah. legacy, right? So, yeah. so this is offering something they might not have. Well, I, I grew up off reserve, so I grew up in Calgary, but I was very still connected to my roots and my ties, and I tried to, tried to look back every now and then as best as I could, and then yeah. it was like, boom, here, now I'll provide for the communities back home and provide for the communities down south. And I was like, all right, sweet, I can do this. This yeah. is fun. So I enjoyed that very much. How's it been? How's it been greeted by the kids? What do they think? They like it. <laughs> every time, every time I bring a robot in, they're like, "What is that?" And I was like, "It's a robot. We get to play with it today." And they're like, "What do you mean by play with it?" I was like, "You can build it. You can code it. You can drive it." They love the driving thing. I they bet. really love the driving thing. It's essentially like here, I hand you an Xbox controller or any type of controller, and they're just like, "Oh, what? It's like a real life video game." And you're just like, "Yeah, yeah, it is. Essentially, is what it is." Why is it so important for you to do this outreach work with these kids? It always stems back to opportunities, just n- new pathways of, of like creation and science and tech. Because it's, yeah, it's very, it's very underwhelmed, and there's just, there's just more. What's the word I'm looking for? More potential. There's there more potential. Yes. Being given yeah. the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Now you've got another 
You got another robot here on the floor yes. next to me. What is this one all about? So that is our first tech challenge robot from my gearheads team, which is my community team that I run with uh, yeah. my high school students. They uh, essentially have to do the same thing, but there's a driving aspect in it. So oh. versus this little Lego guy that needs to be programmed 100% autonomously. That one has about a 30 second autonomous period. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they drive for about a minute and 30 or two minutes and some seconds, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't remember off the top of my head. And they have to score, uh, they, that year they had to score like cone points, basically. So they had these like little cones that they had to stack. And it was energy themed. Oh, so, so that thing stacks cones? Yes, it does. It's got is it like a Canada arm or what? Essentially just <laughs> a, it's essentially just a high school forklift. <laughs> <laughs> It's really cool. It's, it is pretty cool. So that that year they had to either stack cones as high as they can or, because it's energy themed, complete a circuit which is going right across the field, which is pretty big. So it's 12 by 12. They have to connect just an unbraked circuit for bonus points as well. So it was a really good year for those guys, and they enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. So you're trying to build something here in Edmonton yeah. To, yeah, to, to get the program going. How can folks get in touch if they want to be part of it? They can uh, check out our website at uh, indigestheme.ca. That's mostly where we are. And for the most part, Edmonton info is going to be uploaded right away, or they can reach out through social media or anything, or email me anyway. So Right. Yeah. Well, Logan, uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, congratulations on the work you're doing. And Why, thank you. I think a lot of people will be really interested. Thanks for coming in this morning. Awesome. Thanks. Logan Arcilla is the project manager for tech and robotics within Digisteam. It's coming up to 13 minutes before 8.